Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. This is going to be another one of my Thanksgiving size videos. And as you can see, I made some candy yams. Um, this recipe is quite simple. It's only a few ingredients. And um, it's really quick and easy. It's something that you don't have to babysit for very long. So, I think anyone can, you know, really get this recipe done and out of the way really quickly. So, we're going to jump right into it. For this recipe, you're going to need some sweet potatoes or red garnet yams, some brown sugar, some butter, heavy cream, and some vanilla extract. I also added in some nutmeg at the end, and I forgot to add that but you can add that if you like or cinnamon so here is my sweet potato um usually it's yam it's a color red garden yam that you normally um picking up it's usually a yam but anyway so what i'm doing now is peeling it i just usually take a paring knife and peel it or you can use your peeler if you like but i just use a a paring knife to get the skin off and um, these are a lot different than peeling regular potatoes if you've never peeled a sweet potato before they're a lot different than peeling a white potato um, they're a lot harder so you just have to be careful and you definitely need a sharp knife and after I've peeled it all I do is I just lay it down and chop it into um, slices. You can chop it how you want. You could do. You can cube it up, chop it up, however you want to do it. This is just the way I do it. It's the quickest way to get this recipe going. All right. So now I'm gonna put some butter. I put a half a stick of butter into my saucepan and a cup of brown sugar. And basically what I'm doing is I'm going to make a sauce. Basically, I'm making a candy sauce. Um, very similar and close to caramel. It's, it, you're going to get that caramel taste when you make this sauce. And you're just going to mix that in and get all that sugar dissolved. And you're going to start cooking your sauce. You don't want any sugar granules to still be in here. You want it to dissolve, but you need to watch it. Um, be very careful when you're stirring this because when sugar is cooked, it is hot like fire. It will take layers of skin off. Trust and believe. I can show you better than I can tell you. All right, so here it is simmering and it is about where I want it. I don't want this to be so thick like a glaze, but I don't want it to be thin either. So I want it to be to the point where it can stay. It won't just run off. Okay. So, but if you want it to be thicker, you let it go and you let it simmer slowly. Keep stirring it and it'll, it'll thicken on you. So now that I've gotten it to where I want it. Okay, you see how much thicker it's gotten? And that's where I want it to be, right there. Okay. I added my heavy cream. And the heavy cream also thickened it a little bit. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add your sauce to your sweet potatoes in a casserole dish I also dried these potatoes with some paper towel just sat them on some paper towel and dried it like that um and you're just gonna stir this all over your stirring your um sauce all over your potatoes you're just gonna make sure it's mixed really well make sure the potatoes are coated okay um, I ended up only using three potatoes because I'm the only one that's going to eat it. And I end up freezing some of this. Yes, these freeze really well, by the way. Hint, hint. 
All right, so you're going to put some foil on there and bake it in a 350-degree oven for about um, 30 to 40 minutes. And you're going to turn them periodically and stir them around periodically to get the glaze all over. Okay? So this is what you want to do. You want to pour that glaze all over and... All right, and this is them when they are done. These took about 35 minutes. I don't like mine mushy. I like mine just at the point where the fork will go through. And that's that you cook them as much as you like. Some people like theirs breaking apart. I don't. Um, these are very good. They're not overly sweet. Um, like I said, you can add cinnamon or nutmeg or cloves, whatever you like. I just don't like to add all that. I added a little bit of nutmeg, and that was it. Other than the ingredients I showed you. But these are very good. I hope that you all try. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.